What's up? It's your boy, Jay Thrash. Talk with Power. We back again. Hope everybody having a good day. I was just on social media, of course, but I don't even talk about this subject too much. I seen, you know, they put a picture up. The girl, Lori Harvey, she got a new man. Uh, what's your boy now? I can't think of his name right now at the moment, but y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. I see in the comments so many people going back and forth, men and women. I see them going back and forth so much, and it's literally stupid. But they're going back and forth because men, of course, calling Lori a little thought about her, you know what I'm saying? And then you got the women that's like, oh, she's just living her life, and they happy, and you know what I'm saying? They throwing these jokes around, and uh, clowning the men like, oh, shit, she just stringing these hoes along, and da 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 you know, all, all this regular talk stuff. But in the midst of that, I just see, I read these comments, and I see from, from men and women the underlying tones of what people are saying. I just need y'all to go outside and touch grass right quick. Get the fuck off the internet, man. Y'all y'all are literally arguing about other people's lives. And I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it 1,000. Ladies, y'all the, the ones that's just so happy that she out here hopping from man to man and whatever, whatever. Cool. Yo, keep it real. A lot of y'all are living vicariously through this young girl. Y'all ain't going to say it, but she living a life that y'all ain't going to never get. You damn sure ain't going to never get it by just worrying about her life and living as if you know who she is. And you, like, I see y'all speaking for her as if y'all know her personally and all this stuff. Y'all, yo, y'all are living vicariously through this girl. Yeah, she young. Let her live her life and stuff. But y'all be mid 30s, 40 and stuff. So much. Yeah, yeah. You better get it, girl. Did you not? Was you not able to do it? You wasn't able to do it when you was young, huh? Or they, the men didn't want you like they want Lori, huh? So then that causes y'all to be in the comments. And then any man that called her a little thought about it, y'all going at them hard body, hardcore for some stuff that if that was your son that just met this girl and you knew this girl had a little reputation for being hopping around from man to man, you would be saying the same thing. It's crazy just the double standards that, 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 that everybody just throw around. But y'all need to keep it real. Y'all only care about anything that be going on with these celebrities because they got money that you know you ain't going to never get. And that's sad. That's why y'all put these motherfuckers on this high-ass pedestal. And that's why y'all able to pick and choose when you when you want to call them out on their bullshit and when you want to, you know what I'm saying, be on their side. It's only because they got money and it fits your narrative. Why? Because you living vicariously through these people. Y'all need to get the fuck outside. Go take a fucking walk, man. Go take a walk. I'll be sitting there scrolling. Sometimes I might comment, but I'm I'm more so trying to like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like why are we doing this? What what is all this for? All the name calling and stuff. Everybody just and it's the shade room. The shade room post up the most controversial, messy stuff. Even it'd be old, old stuff. Old stuff. I mean, I'm talking about last year old. Like I just seen today. Uh, your boy Travis Kelsey, you know, uh, tight end for Kansas City. I, I didn't even know the I didn't even know the, the man like black women. You know what I'm saying? That's cool, whatever. But uh, I guess he had an ex girlfriend, and it came out that he only gave her like a hundred dollars over a five year time span. She came out and said that's that was wrong. Don't don't believe that shit. Whatever, whatever. Boom. Go in these shade room comments. I see women. They like yo. Why is y'all even putting this up? It must be a slow day. She already said this. So why y'all trying to stir the pot? Da 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 da. Y'all, ladies, if y'all understand, if y'all will realize that most of the shade room staff is black women, so you can bet your bottom dollar that some of these statuses that y'all be complaining about, be, black women are putting them motherfuckers up to have y'all triggered and to have y'all doing what? Going at each other in the comments, going at the men in the comments, and now in these comments, and this is something I want to speak on too. You know, Travis Kelsey white, the girl black. You know, you got men in the comments like, oh, y'all loved y'all love the master. You know, you know, just mad, you know, or you know, upset that women, black women, dating outside the race. Okay, whatever. Me personally, do what you wanna do. Do do what the fuck you wanna do. Love don't really got no no barrier, um, or no 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 race barrier. So, you know, if you find it, if you find it, you know what I'm saying? But then you got the women on the other side that's giving all of their reasons why they 
want to go date a white man. And that's cool, too. But I'm looking at these reasons, though. And, and, and these reasons, they, they really are turning them into general things about all men. As if you done dealt with all men. And it's just crazy. Like, it's, it's cool if you want to date outside your race. But don't blame it on all the black men because you want to date outside your race. Blame it on the, the, the ones you picked. And then dig a little deeper than that and take accountability. And why do you keep on why you keep on dealing with them ones that it made you feel like you need to date outside your race? Because a lot of the comments I see, they feel like, oh, we treat them like shit. We don't give a fuck about them. Da 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 da. You know, I see the ones calling the, the niggas hypocrites because they go glorify a white girl and then bash a black one. I don't agree with none of that stuff either. I can't stand for either side to want to. Okay, go have you have your preference. Have your preference. Can't nobody stop you from having your preference. But you ain't gotta bash the other side while you having your preference. Niggas do that shit all the time. Y'all like white women so much, right? That's cool. But you don't gotta go at the, the the black women saying like, yeah, they yeah they don't got that attitude like the black like black girls do. We ain't gotta hear. You ain't gotta say all that, bro. You ain't gotta say all. You ain't gotta do all that. You ain't gotta say all that, bro. Just go about your happy ass way, women. Y'all do the same thing. At least this man got money. He ain't gonna do that. Like, come on, man. They talk about failed marriages, how men don't want, how black men don't want no marriage. But you can go down, scroll down social media all day and see women don't care about that marriage shit neither. But, you know what I'm saying? They talk about, uh, you know, income. Like, I, I feel like, I feel like when we, I feel like when, when women use uh, income as a reason why they go to the white man, it's like low key, like a slap in the face, because we know the system really ain't built for us to thrive, but it's built for them to thrive. So you just gonna take the easier route and go with them, if that's your reason for going to the white man. Because that's I see it in the comments. Says so better than dealing with a broke one. Okay, cool. Go ahead and deal with that. That's that's fine. I, I I'm somebody. I I ain't broke, but it still feel like a, just a little slap in the face because I'm a little more in tune and and. and and really care about how fucked up the system is and how it really just put all of us down. Black women too. You know what I'm saying? But I can't even truly be that mad if, you know, they want to find they out and go to a white man. They got the money. It, it don't, I, I can't get, that's your choice. I can disagree with it strongly, but that's your choice. And I ain't going to sit here and bash nobody for doing that. And neither should none of the rest of the, the niggas, y'all shouldn't do that neither. When y'all know y'all are going to fuck a white man. Like, ah. Like, bro, we got to just stop the hypocrisy all together. But, again, y'all live vicariously through these people that y'all see in social media. It's women all in the comments that ain't never had a white man, but are speaking for the black girl it, that, that, that went with that, that was with the white man. How you going to speak for this girl when you ain't never even been with a white man? You just saying what you think you would do. But in the same breath, say, I don't like pink meat. Shut up. Slap yourself. I can't stand it. Y'all need to cut that shit out, man. For real. Touch grass. Get outside. Get off social media so much. Shade room ain't nothing but a, uh, 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 a platform that causes us to get further attached from each other. It just shows, like, you can just scroll any post and see how much we hate each other. And it's only us that do this shit, man. It's only us that, that are set back, and we keep being set back by having these same conversations with uh, each other and these same bashing, triggering posts all the time. It don't matter who it is. It can, it's the same post, just a different celebrity. Like, it, like you know, we got to touch grass get outside get in tune with yourself man and stop living vicariously through these celebrities because you think you can't never get it and you can if you apply yourself instead of arguing in the comments with people that you don't even fucking know y'all would be y'all would say the most damning things the most harsh things to complete strangers because they don't agree with you i'm talking about men and women y'all are crazy for just yo cut it out just cut it out. And then half of y'all be talking to bots. Half of y'all be talking to bots that are programmed to say certain things to trigger y'all. And y'all fall right for it. Fuck you doing talking to a page with zero followers 
zero posts, zero anything. What you doing putting all exerting all this energy into that person for? You don't even know who the fuck behind that thing, man. Like, oh man, but let me know what y'all feel about that, man. I really don't care how y'all feel about that. I really just want to talk my shit and uh give me a couple motherfucking slaps off. I need to come back down to reality, man. Your reality, not no celebrity reality. Come to your reality. You feel what I'm saying? Oh man, I seen another comment. My bad. I seen another comment. Um, it was it was about the white man and how they got the money and all this. She said the one girl said, "This man a millionaire. Half, most of these niggas can't even make fifty thousand dollars in a year. Little broke asses." Oh, you think that's just black men? That that you think that's just black men? So that ain't just. Something that everybody just deal with in the black community, huh? So only black men don't make fifty thousand dollars a year, even though that's just a lie. Cause I, whatever. But let's keep it real. A lot of y'all, y'all talk about the men and what we should make and what y'all think they, 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 all these millions and all this stuff. Y'all take this advice from these millionaires about financial stuff and all this. stuff. Y'all ain't never even gonna be around millionaires. Y'all don't even. Y'all don't even in y'all regular lives. Ever just walk across and run across millionaires to even know what the fuck you would do in the presence of one? They probably walk right past you, man. But y'all, y'all sit there and, and and defend these motherfuckers till y'all blue in the face, man. I can't stand, I cannot stand y'all, man. But y'all gotta do better than that. We gotta do better than that. I I I can I can say that I probably am a victim of doing some of this shit too. You know what I'm saying? But I try to catch myself and not keep doing the dumb shit because it's not constructive. It don't lead nowhere. Shade room and all them posts, that shit just be for entertainment, but y'all take entertainment and y'all, it's not entertainment no more. We just showing the world, we show the social media every day how much we hate each other in them fucking comments, man. It's sad. It's sad. And to know that it's a predominantly black staff at Shade Room is even more sad, though. But y'all stay easy, stay safe, stay protected. Get the folk out the circle. They ain't supposed to be in your circle. Easier said than done. But it's definitely doable, all right? I'm out, man.